whole fish used to panic me, but I'll show you how to do gorgeous red snapper on the grill in nothing flat. We have the good fortune to have excellent fish brought up out of the Gulf of Mexico. This is a whole fresh red snapper out of the Gulf. The most important thing to do right off the bat is to get a pair of heavy duty kitchen shears and take off all of the uh, fins and other spiny things. Leave the tail on, that's fine, but these fins can be incredibly sharp and I've actually wounded myself on them. You can certainly scale a fish outside, but I'm doing it in the kitchen inside a big plastic bag. Just get yourself a knife and just keep working the fish scales off. Once you've got the fish scaled, give it a thorough wash. I'm taking off a couple of scales that I missed. And now we're ready to dry the fish thoroughly, season it with salt and pepper. You can see how fresh the fish is because the eye bulges. Here's the one bit of gear you do need, a basket to put the fish in to keep it off the grill. I am spraying both sides of the fish liberally with cooking spray to keep it from sticking. Even though I'm doing this, we're still going to have some sticking problems. It's just the nature of the beast. I have my indoor grill heated to medium. You can do this very easily on an outdoor grill as well. Cover the grill. Then after a couple of minutes, turn it back over. Notice that we're getting a uh, nice coloring on the fish. And I'm turning it a second time. About 10 minutes in, notice that I have carefully removed the top with some sticking. Now I'm going to check it two different ways for doneness. First is with an instant read thermometer. I want it to read around 120 degrees. And the second is I'm going to loosen some of the uh, remaining fins and see if they pull out easily. So here I am with my knife, just loosening. Uh, cutting around that fin, and if it pulls out cleanly, we're done. There it is. Now we'll fill up the fish. I start with an extremely sharp knife at the tail end, working up along the backbone. Go all the way up towards the head, Right behind the gills, I cut down, and then I'll slip my knife underneath to remove the fillet. I'm serving the fish very simply with a green salad. I'm going to slip my spatula underneath and with my fingers make sure that things are completely loosened. Then I'll lift the fillet in one piece onto the plate and then garnish with some salsa verde. I have already uh, grilled some quesadillas as a side. And then here is the salsa verde. It's absolutely delicious.